Okay, Miko Van and everyone, welcome to a let's play of a game from my childhood. It is August 15th, 2023. Um, I figured I wanted to do this since I was doing Baldur's Gate 3, and it is a Dungeons and Dragons game. This game came out in the early 90s, and um, I would say, yeah, in, in, in the 90s was uh, my. Uh, the um, uh, like the the more um, uh, my where I was playing uh, uh, RPG games more heavily. Uh, I guess my heyday period of I don't want to even say that I don't know the word for it, but where it began where I began playing Dungeons and uh, where I began playing uh, RPGs more heavily even though I started in the mid 90s with The Bard's Tale uh, actually now, now I'm thinking about it maybe it was about equal to the 80s um, because in the 90s I had things like Eye of the Beholder um, Might and Magic Heroes of Might and Magic, Ultima Underworld series, and of course a Might and Magic series, Daggerfall, you know, etc. Right? Uh, in the 80s, I started off with The Bard's Tale on my Apple IIe, not the one on the Xbox, but it's a first person party based RPG. Then I had the Ultima games Ultima 3, um, Ultima 4, Quest of the Avatar, King's Quest, even though not really a an RPG, but still, um, you know, Zork, again, it's like, I consider it to be text-based RPG, but, you know, games like that, I'm trying to think what else was RPGs that I, no, no, I had, well, I, I think I played more RPGs in the 90s than in the 80s, but, uh, this game, uh, it's, uh, also, party based uh, party of four and uh, it follows old uh, you know D&D &D rules um, and uh, I, I don't know what a volume control is on this game because I, I kind of went in it just to set up my OBS there's, there's nothing on the screen yet because I think the volume in the opening scene is, is very high I made sure not to look at it to be surprised again as it's this is really the first time I'm, I'm playing it since those days. Um, there's a game called uh, 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 Legend of Grimrock, which is basically like a uh, like if Eye of the Beholder was made and now it would look like that, like like Legend of Grimrock, you know. So, uh, and I played that one. Uh, I haven't beaten it, but I've gotten pretty far, I think. Uh, so I look forward to going back to this one, and since it's, you know, um, so well, since I'm doing Baldur's Gate 3, I thought that I would go back to playing what kind of started started it all for me in uh, Dungeons and Dragons. There was a, a, another one where it was something called, uh, I think it was like Secret of the Silver Blade or something, and it came in this... The box was maybe about this thick and maybe this big, as big as a, I don't know, like a, a school textbooks, a little bit short, a little bit smaller, but you open it up from the top and it had the manuals, the, the, the floppy disks in there. It was not first person. You control, you know, your, your character. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's not quite uh, top down, but it's like almost like a side scroller type thing. Uh, I played a little bit of that, but um, I went back to play that, you know, because of Eye of the Beholder, but I couldn't get into that one because, um, you know, I, I love the, the first person uh, type RPGs uh, best at the time. In a way, I still do, but, uh, you know, Baldur's Gate 3, I, I also like that as well, so. Okay, let's get started. I think this is set up correctly. 
Nothing is appearing on screen, so... I don't know. Why is it like that? There's nothing appearing on screen. Hold on, I'm really sorry about this. We're gonna have to look at that again. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Let's exit to DOS and try this again. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I don't know why this happens, guys. I I don't I don't know what to tell you, you know. I'm, I'm okay. Oh, hold on. hot in my room, I should turn the fan on, but... And the whole thing takes place, you know, in the sewers. When I first played this back in the day, you know, 
I expected something a bit different. I was wondering how do I get back to town or get to the city because I'm used to that from something like the Bard's Tale or uh, you know the Ultima games. Okay, I will make first two should be like a fighter class. And we need to have a rogue in there. Um, so I want to make a paladin. There's a paladin in Capri, so I don't think I have to hit the shift button. So we'll go with Dupree. And um, we shall go with Okay, female. Fighter. Okay, neutral good.
very good. Thief Shada. I keep hitting that. And then finally, Human and Male Mage. No cleric though. But we have a paladin, so it makes up for that. Neutral good. Yeah, and this will be Falagar. Uh, this one looks evil, so I guess I will not pick that one. Oh, this looks very cool. I will pick that. wait okay I wish uh, camp yeah there's no way to address adjust the volume so okay so let me see is it E and Q to turn it's not the wasat interesting oh yeah okay so oh man okay yeah it's it's a uh, different you know it's old school controls you know I wish I could change that you know it's it's using the numpad I wish I could change it to the wasad I'm going to see if I can do that so hold on wait a minute look here okay I found save again okay And then, okay, preferences. Oh, here, but bar graphs on, sound on, mouse is on. Game option. What about the controls? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to look at that. Hold on. Okay, you know what? I remember now that I think like A to attack, no? Yeah, okay, I remember this, but I thought A also attacked. What was that? Might and magic. Oh shit. Alright. This is. This is how I have to control it. Lockpicks. Can I stack these? No. No, oh, you idiot. What are you? Reach, that's right. Maybe because Yeah, and I have to rest, right? Memorize spells. Okay. Magic missile. Myths acid arrow, I think. Okay. 
Okay. That did it right. Okay, and pray for spells. Your paladin is too low level. Okay. No. Alright. So now. Rest. Oh, shit. Yeah, I will not be playing this so much because of the controls, you know. Okay, good. Someone is still injured. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. How long it's taking to heal. Look at this. Oh, shit. I keep hitting escape. I'm amused, too. All right. <clears throat> okay, see, now... You know, it's more of a puzzle game than anything. Okay. <clears throat> yep. I was, was going to hit escape. I'm so used to, you know, the new way of things. secret buttons okay What?
really hot, you know. again mm -hmm. Mage armor, right? Click scroll Bless F1, okay, good yeah. No. Why did they make the controls like this? With no remapping, you know? Oh, shit. Shit. This would, <clears throat> this would be like fine if it was Wasad, you know. I have to sit in this weird position and use the mouse. And I guess it was Might and Magic where it used the keyboard, where it was like the arrow keys to control, not Wasad. And the A key was to attack. I remember that. Not, it wasn't this game. I think for a more smoother and um, just quality of life experience, I may, you know, I'm just trying this out for like, you know, like a trip down memory lane kind of thing. But, um, and maybe I'll switch to Grimrock or something just because it has the controls that I know and love, right? But I won't stick with it. I just, you know, Again, something different to um, mix up my Let's Plays with uh, Baldur's Gate. That the text is covered up. That I don't know the best place to put my uh, face. Then maybe like upper left corner.
This slimy, smelly drain pipe reveals nothing. I think there was a map, but maybe not. I... It's hard for me to kind of concentrate and think in this position. Okay, back at the beginning. Okay, okay. Oh, here we have a symbol here. This rune is unrecognizable. Uh, can I keep going for that escape to open this up? And I have to just click on camp. Could save the game. Yeah, there are eyes. Something scurries deeper into the floor drain. Oh, I love that. It's descriptions like that back in the day that absolutely love. Maybe the wall can be like an illusion. Huh, okay. Here, look at that. Okay. You know, old school, you know, game design.
Hey, look at that. Okay. Look at that. Good. <clears throat> Honey, honey, don't come beyond this point. Okay, some good stuff. Well, I thought there was, okay, I can, I'm dual wielding. What is this, a sword? Yeah, short sword. What's this? Short sword, okay. Now I thought there was a way for me to equip it so that, you know, if I'm throwing a dagger or a rock, it would just keep throwing it. Oh, is it like that? do it because right unless okay. That's, oh look at that yeah you know I'm Okay, I think, um, you know, it's like 40 minutes, but I think you guys get the idea, and most likely have seen similarities with uh, this and um, iron rations, okay, and uh, Legend of Grimrock, Legend of Grimrock 2. All right, so that's it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry about the slow start and, um, you know, me having to get reacquainted with all of this. And um, I'll see you on the adventures. See you.